Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire is an isometric RPG inspired by fantasy classic Baldur's Gate. The game's Ultimate Edition has just launched on console, so if you're new to the series, here are nine things you need to know. Pillars of Eternity began life on Kickstarter, and the first game raised 3.9 million for its 2015 release. And its 2018 sequel, Deadfire, reached its funding goal within a day. Both were initially PC exclusive, but the first game came to console in 2017, while the recently released Ultimate Edition of Deadfire brought the sequel, and all the DLC packs and expansions, to Xbox and PlayStation players for the first time. Five years after Pillars of Eternity, a very angry god named Aethus awakens from a deep slumber to wreak havoc on the land of Aeora. You play as a Watcher, a gifted individual who can speak to the dead, who is contracted by the god of death to pursue Aethus and uncover his plans. Don't worry if you aren't familiar with the events of the first game, as Deadfire opens with a short story recap to bring you up to speed. The narrative is also multiple choice, meaning your decisions and dialogue affect the outcome of the adventure. Diveros? <laughs> you will not regret this, Mestre. Uh, no, uh, Captain. Race, sex, class, appearance, home region, and previous job are all variables when creating your character, most of which have an impact on their six core stats. Might determines a character's strength. Constitution refers to health and stamina. Dexterity represents swiftness and reaction times. Perception is related to senses and instinct. Intellect covers logic and reasoning. And resolve represents determination and fearlessness. Completing quests throughout the game will award experience points. Level up your character to get stat boosts, new skills and enhanced abilities. Classes determine how your character fights. For example, barbarians excel at melee, while wizards can cast spells to damage enemies or buff their allies. Furthermore, subclasses allow characters to specialize in a specific aspect of their role, granting exclusive abilities but restricting them from others. For example, a wizard might pick the illusionist subclass, unlocking illusionary spells but stopping them from learning other spell types like enchantments. Lastly, the multi-class feature lets characters select abilities from two classes but doing so takes longer to obtain more powerful abilities, plus they're unable to unlock the highest level skills at all. Deadfire has five levels of difficulty. Story is best for those who prefer narrative progression and an easier combat experience. Relaxed is tailored to RPG newcomers with less challenging enemies. Classic is for seasoned players. And Veteran offers more challenging combat. Finally, Path of the Damned is incredibly punishing, with smarter, more powerful enemies in greater numbers. Parties consist of up to five characters, from story companions who each have their own backstory and motives, to adventurers for hire, who are found in inns or the adventurers' hall. Building a balanced party is key to surviving tough battles. Pick companions whose skills complement existing characters or offer something extra. Beware though, all companions can die in battle permanently. In combat, the player takes control of every character in the party, issuing commands for all actions from striking blows to healing wounds. Importantly, there are two ways to engage, the classic real-time with poor system or a new turn-based system. The former sees the fight constantly unfold but allows you to pause the action to assess the situation and issue new commands to your fighters. Turn-based allows you to take your time, choosing new actions for the party one by one. The game has a variety of weapons from swords to firearms. Some boast additional effects, such as firing multiple projectiles or boosting accuracy. While characters can use any weapon, certain classes get bonuses for using specific types. For example, a wizard gets a bonus for using a scepter, rod or wand. Your ship lets your party explore the Deadfire Archipelago, as well as engage in naval combat. Remember to hire a crew before you set sail. An experienced crew costs more but will perform better, and you need to ensure they have food, water and medicine to keep up morale. When confronted with an enemy vessel, you can either fire the cannons or move close enough to board and engage the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat, with the battle ending if either ship sinks or surrenders. If you can't wait to sail the seas and chase after a rampaging god, Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire is out now on Xbox One and PS4, and coming soon to Nintendo Switch. For more on the series, stick with IGN.